Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm just going to be showing you this look right here. This is just kind of like a jeweled out skull look. I got the inspiration from a picture on Instagram that I was just scrolling through and I saw. So I kind of wanted to recreate it. I used more pink and purple tone just because I feel like that complements my skin tone. So this is my rendition of it. So starting it off, we're just going to be taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is this pore minimizing one and I'm just putting that all over my face. Just so that my pores don't pop out through any of the foundation or any of the paint all over my eyes. Then taking the NYX eyeshadow base. This is just a nude eyeshadow base that I like to use. And just put that all over the lids just to kind of give it a nice clean and even space. Just so that I'm not having any uneven patches on my eyes. Especially with all the paint and shadow we're going to go in. I did also bring this in on the eyebrow as well. Just so that the eyebrow picked up a little bit more color. And then it wasn't as dark as anywhere else. Then I set that up with any translucent powder. Next up I'm just going to start mapping out where I wanted everything to go. I used a white eyeliner. Just because white eyeliner was easier for me in case I did make any mistakes. Then a black eyeliner just because I could easily just rub it away with the white eyeliner and not have to worry about any fallout or dark spots or anything after that. And then I just fixed that up with the white eyeliner. After the white eyeliner, I just took any old black eyeliner and just kind of outlined where I wanted it to be again. So kind of sticking within the white lines and just, and just outlining that all together. And this this was just an e this was just an extra step that I wanted to do just so that my when I go in with the black face paint that I got from Walmart for like five bucks, it would been it would have been easier than following the white lines. So right here I am just using a Viseart um, concealer brush just to put everything together with the black face paint. I did really like this black face paint. It wasn't too heavy and it wasn't too thick either, so it was a really nice face paint. Then I started gradient it through, so I like to blend it more inwards towards the eye, so it kind of gave it that more gradient effect. And this I just used slow motions with with whatever found product I had left on the brush. If I did pick up product, I picked up very little at a time, and just kind of blended that all throughout, making it more of a gradient effect. Next up, I did take another face paint. This was a face paint palette, another one that I got from Walmart, and just kind of took purple and kind of started that through the first time I picked it up it was very rough and it was very like heavy so then I added a little bit of oil to it from some face oil and it made it a little easier to blend out and a little easier to work with so I just kind of rub put that wherever I finished up with the black just kind of made it more towards that gradient effect that I was going for with this look and just doing the same the exact same thing that I did with the black Next up, I just took any old light pink and put that on the lid. I was originally planning to go with a lighter a lighter shadow on the lid, and I blended that out with a makeup sponge. This is just any old cosmetic wedge, just to make no harsh lines or harsh edges. Now we're going to go in for the shading, so I used the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and the Anastasia Self Made. I started off with the black from the Kat Von D Palette and just put that wherever I put the black face paint and just shaded that in the black eyeshadow from the Kat Von D palette is my favorite then took deep purple from the Anastasia self-made palette and put that anywhere I took the purple face paint and this was another really great shadow the these shadows are two of my favorites and then I took this Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and took that purple shade in there and put that all over the lid because I liked I was kind of thinking I should go with the darker look on the lid and I just took that on any old flat shader brush and put that all over the lid wherever I had that white that kind of pink white face paint and then blended that all out with my Sigma E40 just to make sure all the shadows are together all the paint is together and that there's no harsh lines or harsh edges then I took any old makeup wipe just because I was dealing with a lot of black I did experience some fallout so I just took that and rubbed and rubbed that wherever I found fallout then I took my Rimmel London Stay Matte and my Revlon Color Stay Foundation just because these are two of my lighter shades that don't really let work with me but they can but they have like a lighter appeal to them. So I put that on my face just because it did give me that lighter look. So I just took that on a Viseart foundation brush and then pounced that in with my Beauty Blender just because it's more of a paler skin. And then I just blended that out with my Beauty Blender and kind of washed out for wherever the paint was. And then set that with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder 
on a elf brush and just setting that all over just so that nothing combines then I started filling in the nose this one I used the Sephora eyeliner in black and then went in with a little bit of face paint just to kind of make it look all smooth now we're going in for the jewels part I just used any old face any old like scrapbooking gems and just use eyelash glue to stick them on my face I didn't really have a plan for this part I just didn't want too many colors to be all together and then I just continued sticking this on this this part definitely took the longest um, just because it was I had to let the glue get a little tacky just because if it didn't it would constantly fall out so this part definitely took the longest I decided to put some on my forehead too because the picture that I was working on did have them on their forehead so I was like oh I'll try it on my forehead and then I did it under the eyes as well to kind of look like tears as well so I was really happy with this and then I went in on the mouth for the mouth I tried to stick more for kind of triangular shapes just to mimic the teeth and I just put that all over my lips again using the eyelash glue and everything I think next time I would definitely fill in my lips with like a dark color then to move into the teeth I took a black eyeliner and just kind of outlined wherever the teeth was and I just kind of made my mouth look more like that I noticed that the liquid liner was better just because it gave me that more those more um thinner lines I just took the NYX matte liquid liner and just kind of outlined wherever the jewels was and then I just decided to freehand the look of like a, a smile or something just because I felt like it needed something more here then just to bronze up the skin a little bit I decided to take the Benefit Hoola bronzer on a Real Technique contour dual fiber contour brush and just kind of bronze up the skin a little bit then I decided I should add a few gems on the on my chin just to complete the whole look just because I did feel like my chin was missing something so I did the exact same thing took eyelash glue and everything and just put that on my skin again and then that was the finished look and I quickly did set it with some max fix plus and that was and that's the finished look hope you guys enjoyed